I have to admit, I've never actually seen a budget address that didn't talk about a budget. Um, the one thing that I would take from the governor's presentation today, and having actually read through the budget document, that unless the governor happened to pick up a leprechaun with a pot of gold in his Jeep, there is no chance that budget is based in reality. There is no chance there are the votes there in the House and the Senate to raise the taxes necessary to balance that budget. A $3.6 billion tax increase for $3 billion worth of increased spending. $3.6 billion in tax increases, $3 billion in new spending, 15 new taxes, and a retroactive income tax. So not only are we going to attack and tax Pennsylvania workers going forward, we're actually going to say to the workers, hey, we know you've been working for two or three months already this year. We know taxes have been paid, taken out of your paycheck during those months. We're not only going to tax you going forward, but the governor actually wants to go back retroactively and tax you more on the salary you've already made. It's absolutely absurd. And the governor keeps talking about this framework agreement, this framework budget. The part that he forgets to tell the people of Pennsylvania, the only part of the framework that he's still proposing is higher taxes for higher spending. He doesn't talk about property tax reform. He doesn't talk about pension reform. He doesn't talk about liquor privatization. He doesn't talk about greater accountability for education. And he doesn't talk about greater restrictions on property taxes increases in the future. It's about more taxes, more spending. And it's not about a severance tax proposal anymore either. It's about a retroactive 11% increase in the personal income tax. Hopefully our colleagues in the House, Republican and Democrat, in the Senate, Republican and Democrat, will finally compel the governor to come back to reality, finish the budget, the last 13% for this year, and have a reasonable discussion on how we enact a budget for next year. The governor can choose whatever tone he wants. Uh, we understand he's gone through an entire year of spending millions of dollars instead on education, but in spend, spending them attacking the legislature through mail pieces, TV ads, radio ads. We're focused on getting a budget done and actually governing. When the governor is willing to focus on that particular agenda item, we'll be sitting here as willing partners. The severance tax issue, look, folks can talk about it, how Senate Republican Democrat, the bottom line is it doesn't bring in any money because natural gas prices are at record lows. We went from a situation last year where the governor proposed a billion dollar severance tax to fund education, except he forgot to actually send the money to education, send it to alternative energy programs. By the end of last year, even he admitted his severance tax proposal only brought in $50 million. So if folks wanna have the political discussion about a severance tax, I'm sure there are folks willing to engage in that, uh, but it's not gonna be the end all be all to balancing a budget this year or next year.